In this video, we're gonna finish our attention magnet by adding a transition animation to our PowerPoint title. Let's get it started. Hello everyone, this is Alan VC from Better Slides That Online. This channel is all about helping you to create memorable PowerPoint presentations that deliver your message in a way your audience will never forget. And today's video is about transitions, you know, those effects we use to move from one slide to another during our presentations. But why should we pay attention to the transitions in our slideshow? Well, transitions are important for some very good reasons. First, they tell our audience when we move from one slide to the next one. Second, they tell a lot about the design of our presentation and the time we put on it. Adding generic transitions to our slideshow makes our whole presentation look generic. Finally, well-done transitions may help us capture our audience's attention and keep their interest high during our presentation. Generic transitions have an additional problem. They kind of reset the attention. For the audience, it may feel like you start over and over and over again they actually start counting trying to guess how long you will keep talking. So, if we want our audience to actually receive our message, it is our job to avoid this by making our presentations entertaining and easy to follow. Clearly, you cannot dispense with transitions and put all the content for your presentation in one single slide. It would be a mess. But you can make simple yet elegant transitions like the one we are making on this video to move from one slide to the next one while making the audience feel like they never left the first slide. This will help you avoid resetting the audience's attention and you will stop them from counting how many slides they have seen and how many are left. To accomplish this goal, however, we need to keep our design simple and consistent. When it comes to PowerPoint presentations, less is more. That being said, let's get this done. Today we are gonna work with the slide we were using in the last video. We are going to change some things, add some others, and I'm pretty sure you will like the result. The first step is to know how to make this animation from scratch, so let's see. In this presentation we have two slides. This one is the main title. This is the first slide your audience will see. Now, this main title also contains the title for your next slide, you see? This title here is the same you have on the second slide, here. Of course, people will not see this title when you open the presentation, simply because this title fades in only after the previous animation has been executed. By doing this, we simulate that the slide has changed. After this title fades in, you trigger the actual transition that drives you to the next slide, which is identical to the first one, with the only difference that this one delivers the first piece of content in your presentation. We have several pieces in this animation. First, we have this yellow rectangle. Like I said on the previous video, this rectangle is our transition element, and it helps us with two things. Number one, this rectangle removes the main title in an elegant way. You see? As it moves over the title, the title disappears and now we are ready for number two. Thanks to its high contrast color plus the way it moves, this rectangle helps us move the attention from the main title to the next slide's title. The interesting thing here is that we move from one slide to the next one smoothly, without resetting the audience's attention. Now, how do we make the title disappear when the yellow rectangle runs over it? Well, we simply don't do it. Let me explain. The yellow rectangle is just part of an illusion. It just moves from one point to the next one to help us drive people's attention. The title here is made of individual words. Each one has its own animation and disappears when a blue rectangle running behind the yellow one covers that specific word. The best way to understand how this works is by actually doing it. So let's go back to PowerPoint and we're gonna do this together, step by step. First, make sure each word in your title and subtitle has its own text box, as this is very important for our animation to work properly. Once we have this, it's time to move on. But before we get started, if you have found this content useful, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you get a notification every time I submit a new video. 
So let's continue. Like I said, we will be using the slide we made on the previous video. So here we are and the first step is to add a couple elements here. First, we need to add the title for our next slide. So let's do it. I'm typing a dummy title. Of course, you type whatever you need here. Let me... Okay... Great. The second element we are going to add is our blue rectangle. Remember? That one we said would help us to delete the main title? Okay, let's do it. This blue rectangle will be the same size as the longest word in our title. Now let's adjust the position. Great. Perfect. Now it is crucial that this rectangle is exactly the same color as the background. Why? Well, if this rectangle is even slightly different, it will turn visible and our audience will realize where the trick is. We don't want that, right? So let's make it the same color. Okay, now it's time for animation. So let's go to step two. Let's start with the yellow rectangle. So click on it, go to the animations menu and look for add animation. We will be using a spatial type of animations here known as motion paths. And inside motion paths, we will be using the lines. So while having the yellow rectangle selected, click on add animation, go to motion paths and click on lines. Now, by default, PowerPoint will show you a preview of any new animation you add to the slide. I personally prefer not to see a preview every time I add an animation. In case you feel the same, just go here to Preview and uncheck this Auto Preview option over here to stop automatic previews. Ok, so now we need to adjust this motion path we have added here. What we want is the yellow rectangle to move towards the end of the main title. So click on the motion path grab this red circle and move it to the new position we want for our yellow rectangle. Ok, now we need to rotate our yellow rectangle, so make sure the yellow rectangle is selected again and click on Add Animation. Look for the Emphasis section and click on Spin. Here we need to preview the animation, so make sure the Spin animation is selected and click on play from. Ok, so now our yellow rectangle is spinning, but we need to fix a couple things here. So click here to open the drop down menu and click on effect options. Now let's see. First we are going to change this from 360 degrees to 90 degrees. You can do it by entering the number here on custom or by choosing this quarter spin option. There we go. Hit OK and let's preview. Awesome. Next, we need our yellow rectangle to move towards the first slide's title. So again, make sure the yellow rectangle is selected, click on Add Animation, Motion Paths, Lines. Ok, now we need to change the direction of this line. Let's see. Ok. Good. Ok, now this animation is supposed to start from this point. So click on the animation, grab the green circle and move it over here. Now grab the red circle and move it like this. Excellent. We're still missing one motion path here and it's the one from this point to this one located under our next slide's title. So same process here. Select the yellow rectangle, add animations, motion paths, lines, click on the new line, grab and relocate each circle. Done. 
Let's see what has been done. Let me open the presentation. Okay. Now we are going to add the animation for our blue rectangle. This will be a line as well. So let me do this. This rectangle is supposed to move to this position where it covers the word presentation. In this way, we make it disappear easily. Okay, done. We're still missing a group of very important animations, and I'm talking about those animations required to delete its word on our main title as the blue rectangle moves over them. So let's click on its word and add a disappear animation to each one. Great, now we are halfway through. Let's move on to step three. Okay, so next we need to adjust triggers, duration, and the order in which our animations will be executed. Here, in the animation pane, you have the list for all the animations we have added to our slide. Each animation has the name of the element it belongs to. By the way, the names you see here on my screen might not be the same for you, so don't worry about that. Also, for each animation, you have the trigger, the duration, the delay, and you can click on each animation and move it to change the order of execution. So, let's start making changes. The only animation that will start on click is the first one, which is assigned to the yellow rectangle. You will trigger this animation once you have finished introducing yourself to your audience, saying hello, saying your name, explaining what the presentation is about, I don't know. Now, as the yellow rectangle moves, the blue rectangle needs to move as well to cover the main title, right? So, this is the first important change we are gonna make. While having the blue rectangle selected, let's click on its animation and move it right after the first animation. Now, let's change the trigger to with previous, like this. By doing this, both rectangles will move at the same time. You see? Now, just let me remove the outline. Okay, next the yellow rectangle will rotate, but this is supposed to flow on its own, so we need to change the trigger for this animation to after previous. What's next? Mm, now the yellow rectangle will move upwards, so after previous again. And finally, the yellow rectangle will move to this position over here. So again. We are almost there. Now we need the title to actually disappear when the blue rectangle moves over it. So, to do this, we are gonna change the triggers for the animations assigned to each word. However, for this to work properly, we need each word to wait for the blue rectangle and actually disappear only when the blue rectangle is over it. And this is something we achieve by modifying the delay. We will also need to move all the disappear animations so they get executed along with the animation for our blue rectangle. So, let's make the changes. Let's start with the triggers. All of them will be with previews. Now, let's modify the delay and the execution order. To save you time, I've already made a test and found the required values. You can modify these values to whatever you want to make the animations run faster or slower. That's totally up to you. But these values I'm showing you here are the values I consider that make the animations run smoothly while looking good.
great, awesome. So we are almost done guys, we still need to add the animation for our slides title. This will be the last animation in the sequence and it is a fading animation. So let me... And now we need to duplicate our slide. This second slide is actually the first slide showing content to our audience. So let me delete the main title as well as all the animations. Um, we don't need this. Now we need to make sure that the yellow rectangle here is exactly the same position where it ends on the previous slide after the animation. This is necessary so our audience doesn't notice the difference between the first slide where we show the title and the next one where we show the first piece of content. So let me fix it. And finally, we need to add some dummy content and a small fading animation that will start after previous. In that way, this animation will trigger as soon as you reach the second slide. You see? So let's see the whole thing in action. Okay, so I open the presentation, I say hello and explain what the presentation will be about, then I click to trigger the animations. In the meantime, I'm introducing the audience to the first subject. Here we are still in the first slide of our presentation. Now I click again, the second slide shows up, and the first piece of content appears on the screen. Elegant, smooth, simple, and ready to shine. And that would be the end of this video guys, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get a notification every time I submit a new video, take care and see you next time.